I've got a real treat for you today. I'm standing in Holt Camp Greenhouses, who are the producers of Optimara African Violets. And I'm in their R&D greenhouse right now, which is, you're looking at some of the new cutting edge violets that they breed here. African violets are the most popular houseplant in the world. They estimate that at least 100 million are sold every year. That's a lot of plants. And right here, just outside of downtown Nashville, is 10 acres of cutting edge, center of the African violet universe, breeding and production here at Optimara. It's amazing. It's a really beautiful place. It's been here since 1977, and they have been doing state-of-the-art production ever since. Even if you aren't a big African violet aficionado, you've seen Optimara violets everywhere they sell houseplants, whether it's a big box retailer or a high-end florist, they're everywhere. But it takes a lot of work to get them to that state. I want to show you today how long and what, what kind of effort it takes to bring those beautiful plants to the store ready for you to buy, to burst into bloom into your home. Let's go see how, just how they do that. I'm here in the propagation greenhouse at Holt Camp where the Optimara violets get their start. Every violet you buy is a clone, meaning a vegetatively propagated baby off a mother plant. And we're here to find out just how that happens. And I'm talking to Monique Holt Camp, third generation Holt Camp plant breeder and propagator. And Monique, I'd love for you to tell us exactly what we're seeing right here. Okay. Well, this is the beginning of a new plant and what Con is doing, who has worked for us for many years, is she is putting the um, mother leaves into soil out of which babies will grow. I see. And how many babies, would? Uh, what do you expect to see getting off of one leaf? About one baby per leaf. Okay. And how long does it take for a leaf to start growing babies? Until babies come, it's 16 weeks. 16 weeks. And then they have to get... That's tiny though, they start really small, right? Yes, that's a tiny baby. How long does it take from this little beginning to get a plant that you're ready to ship out? It takes about 34 weeks. Wow. So that's almost eight and a half months from this leaf to the finished plant that you buy in the store. How about that? That's longer than people expect, I think. I think so. Yeah, boy, they're a good buy. They're sorted by size. Um, as, they, as they pop them off the leaves, they, the, they sort it into large, medium, and small, and they will be planted according to size because they will mature at different rates. And you don't want to have, you want to have a crop come into its maturity at the exact same time. Every pot should look as much alike as possible, and that process starts here. Once those little babies get big enough, they're transplanted. And you can see it's broken off here. A few little hair roots there, just getting going. And it'll be every one of these babies, and you can see there are masses of them, will be stuck by variety into this plug tray. This is an 84 cell plug tray. And they do massive amounts of these. Monique, how many a week does Holt Camp stick? Well, here in Nashville, over 60,000 a week. Wow. And um, in all our operations in South America, Asia, and Africa, over 100,000 a week. That's a lot so. of violence. A lot of work. Once those little babies grow on in that plug tray and get a really good root system going on them, they're ready to move on. And what's happening here is they are getting potted on into their final home. These are four inch pots. And you can see it's a highly mechanized system. This system and these ladies can do up to 30,000 a day. That's a lot of plants. From here, they go into a greenhouse where they're grown from eight to 12 weeks. Time depends on variety. And they're considered by that time they're finished. They have blooms coming on. They're ready to package and ship out to the retailer. Monique, tell me what's happening here. Well, here we just, they have collected the different colors in trays and they are um, on the belt, they are putting them in the sleeves. I see, those plastic sleeves that right, they ship in. Right, to make sure that they don't break. And from there, they will go into the boxes and out into the trucks. And this is what you buy at the store. That's and this right. is 34 weeks 
Exactly. 34 weeks later, folks, it's a wonderful process. We've seen